Hi guys, this is Eva from the Overflow. People of God, the Lord placed it on my heart to share a bit with you about jealousy and envy. Those murderous competitive spirits that drive saints to try to destroy other saints at times, either to get ahead or to stay ahead even in ministry. My boy, right? The first part of the message is to let you know that it grieves the Lord's heart. To see his children in that state. Strife, envy, seditions, jealousy, division, contention, none of it is of God. And it is as the situation with Cain and his brother Abel, where God went so far as to warn Cain that sin was crouching at the door, waiting for opportunity to take over if he did not change his thinking. Brothers and sisters in Christ, Consider this a warning, not from me, but from God. And examine yourself. Examine your thoughts, your motives, actions, and be certain that you are not about to cross or into sinning against your brother or sister in Christ for a perceived personal gain. This message is not for everybody, but the Lord will job your heart, of course, if it is for you. There is a second part to this warning. The Lord wants you to know that just as David was as anointed as he was, and he knew that touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm apply to him as well, it also applies to saints in our treatment of other saints. So beware. When you come against a child of God, regardless of how anointed or decorated you yourself are, there will be consequences enforced by the Lord himself. That should be scary enough for us to keep loving and showing love to each other. God is a good, good father, but he's also not mocked. Amen? Be in one accord lest you be found fighting against the Lord of hosts. The Lord said. That's the end of the message, people. God bless you. I thank you for listening. Do take the Lord in prayer if you recognize that it is a message for you. As I said before, it's a very specific message. Bye-bye.